Hello everyone, Bob Blah Blah here. Introduce everybody uh, what came with my uh, DA or double agent gentleman's brand vape pen. Um, in this, and you're going to pardon the quality, all these sort of things. This is actually the first YouTube video I've actually ever posted. Um, in this came the battery. As advertised, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm changing. There's blue. One, two, three, four, five. Purple, variable voltage style, soft black mat. Um, one screw the bottom, and you got a mini USB port. There you go. Um, let it operate as a pass through. Now, with this pen came. These tanks, pre-filled carts, they're little uh, a, a, or, uh, yeah, gentleman's vape logo right there. You got a soft rubber tip, pop that right off. There's the inside of the cart. You can't see that too well, but that white stuff is white cotton batting like any other ego cartomizer. Um, they are Widowmaker carts, so they're five mil uh, which is on the larger side uh, large side usually found is about four mil um, this is not this one of mine now with this came the crappiest USB cord I've probably ever seen for charging um, not even sure if it will carry the 4.2 volts of the higher rating um, also to these mouthpieces, which do fit other 510 carts or KR808D battery, uh, carts, which is the normal e small e-sig style, but they don't fit any carts in this pen. So I don't know why they came. Um, and then of course we have the short cone. We previously mentioned the large cone was missing. The nice thing about the short cone is that it will screw to the bottom instead of this cap, so it will protect your USB port. Unfortunately, the longer cone doesn't, and this doesn't cut the mustard, as I'm pretty sure it was designed to cover this bottom port, and the longer cone was supposed to cover this thread. This, as you can see, doesn't even protect the thread, so it obviously wasn't made for it. I don't know why these longer cones did not come, even though they were advertised. It was not the only one to get that messed up like these thread unlockers are. Now, here's what doesn't make sense to me. These thread unlockers screw into each other. There's two of them. And this bottom one screws into your Ego T. So if this is a thread unlocker, oh, oh what's going on here? Wow. That's crazy. So this one will th thread either into the Ego battery or it will thread into there, which means that style for that's to connect an Ego style cart to a different type of battery. Well, since it's supposed to be an Omicron unlocker, let's see if it fits an Omicron thread. Negatory. Not in any way, shape, or form will that grab and thread. So, by that definition alone, by the fact that this won't screw into an Omicron, but will screw into here, means that the threadings on this aren't going to match. To prove it, I will show you a couple different cards here. I will show you three that don't match and three that will lock on, which I'm guessing what they were hoping would be good enough for government work, basically, in mailing me these unlockers. So this is a four ohm cart. Now, as you see, it's hard to tell with mine. I can just push it in down to the bottom thread. And there's plenty of kick. If I push it against the wall and I turn it, it threads correctly. But, 
it's definitely not screwing in. The diameter or circumference of this port is too wide. But if I push down really hard and turn to the right, for some reason it will grab that last thread. Now, that's a four ohm cart, so that doesn't do me any good. I'm thinking to push that voltage. Here's my two ohm cart, same difference. Push it straight in, wiggle, 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 push it in as hard as I can and turn, and no matter where I do this at, it will not grab. It makes it completely pointless to me. Same with my, uh, here, yeah, my 1.5 new Omicron cart. Won't grab. Ooh, grab. Oh, loose. Oh, it falls right out. Yeah. This has the same pushes straight through. Wiggle, wiggle. Oh, pretending. It, oh, it's grabbed, is it? Oh, no, I get the slightest fleck, it pops right out. So this is what I was talking about. This is my main complaint. I mean, other than the, you know, not longer cover not being there, the ridiculously cheap quality of this USB cable, and the fact that they sent, you know, filled carts. The main issue, once again, I wouldn't have cared about paying $70 for mouthpieces that didn't matter and Uh, normal ego pass through available anywhere for as we posted earlier 25 bucks but my thread unlockers once again have the exact same problems the last one did anyway that's my story um, once again excuse the quality this is the first time I've ever made a YouTube video for anything which kind of shows my level of irritation I guess all right y'all have a good day